Thank you. I give the call to the member for Wright. I thank you, <coughs> Madam Deputy Speaker. And it's, um, I don't often speak on condolence motions, but Senator Trude is a person that I would refer to as a personal friend. And having um, heard the contributions from both the member for Ryan and the member for Rankin, I want to associate myself with both of their comments. They were both heartfelt speeches, um, and I will probably not do the good senator's justification in, in my delivery, but nevertheless, I will, I will give it my best shot. Uh, senator Trude uh, was a gifted man in the field of academia. Uh, before coming to the House, um, it was far from fitting the profile of a, of a, uh, a Liberal senator. He, he, was, he was amongst most left-wing think, left thinking in the, uh, in the Griffith University. And um, he contested the seat. He always had an interest. He contested the, the, the third seat uh, on the Liberal Senate ticket. And as the member for Ryan alluded to, uh, a little known then Barnaby Joyce was contesting the second seat. And it was uncommon, I think it was unprecedented, that Queensland would return four Conservative senators at that election, you know, with two from Labor. Um, but nevertheless, history has written its pages and Barnaby has gone on to, um, Barnaby has gone on to you know, bigger and better things. Um, Brett Mason is, Senator Brett Mason is now uh, serving in the diplomatic corps. Senator Brandis um, needs no introduction as, our, as the country's AG. Um, what was evident was the amount of people in the room at the memorial, but not the volume of people, the quality of the people that were there. Um, past senators that had come back, Senator Boswell was there and spoke, um, spoke to me at length about his relationships with, with Russell. Uh, Senator Brandis spoke uh, at the memorial, as the member for Ryan alluded to, and it was, it was an amazing speech, an amazing speech, as were all of them. But I want to just draw uh, uh, your attention to one of the speeches there was from Senator Ronaldson. And um, Senator Ronaldson and Senator Trude and their wives had been out for a function. And Rhino recalled the story that after the function, they're in the car driving home. And Rhino's wife says to him, He's far too nice to be a senator. He's far too nice to be a politician. And Rono says to his wife, you've never said that of me. And her response was, you're right. <laughs> but he was, Russell Trude was a, a terribly nice bloke. And I was so privileged, I was so privileged to see uh, Senator Russell Trude some time ago, before he got uh, ill, he, he passed away with thyroid cancer. Um, so I saw him at his best in the corridors here. You know, he always had a passion for this place. He stayed connected to it. I saw him at his best, and that is, that is the memory that I will hold of Senator Russell Trude. I was also fortunate to have him, uh, and I don't know in the, in the Labor world, but we have patron senators that, as lower house members, they will grandfather, look after a group of a group of seats. So the electorate of right was a new seat brought about by the redistribution. And um, Senator Trude was my patron senator. And he came out in the first week and in the, during the campaign and he, he suggested that it would be um, advantageous for me to travel with Senator Russell Trude around the electorate. And we did that. And just after lunch, one hot day, we thought we would pop in at the Hellerden pub. And Hellerden's a, a beautiful part of my electorate, old weatherboard pub, and it was hot, it was the middle of the day. And I said, we should duck, we should duck into the pub for a quick, a quick cleansing ale, Senator. He said, that sounds, that sounds wonderful. He said, it's a little early. I said, it's after 12 o'clock, come on. So we went into the, to the pub and I had uh, some of my staff with me and he said, um, I suggested to him, what, what would you like to drink? And he said, oh, I'll have a, uh, a white wine. And I went, you're not having a white wine in the Hellerton pub. You'll have a, a beer. And uh, But I said, I'll see if I can get you a white wine. And I said to the barman, I said, mate, you got any wine? He said, 
Mosul. I said, <laughs> just two goals, thanks, brother. Anyway, so he, he drank a, he drank a, um, a beer. But it, the, I don't think he was that comfortable in the regional provinces of the electorate, but he was very, very comfortable on the international stage in and around that foreign policy, foreign development. Uh, he served, he served um, on parliamentary delegations to Japan, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Ghana and Ethiopia. Uh, he also served extensively on committees relating to foreign policy from foreign affairs, defence, trade to intelligence security. Our Prime Minister said Malcolm Turnbull of Russell True that he described him as having one of the finest foreign policy minds. And I'm sure that if he was still in the House as a senator, that elevation can come in many different ways. But it, there needs to be some type of formula of talent, service of time, geographical location and mathematics. And if those planets align for him, I have no doubt that he would be serving in a higher capacity, a higher office, in and around somewhere in that, that foreign affairs portfolio space. Also at the memorial, you know, member for Rankin, President of the Senate, Senator O'Sullivan uh, and, and others that were state members. It was, it was a testing um, memorial for his contributions, both to academia and the parliament. But noteworthy of a, of a gathering of that calibre was the amount of staff that had served with Senator Trude. Now, he did not have a high turnover of staff. You know, we can, as members of this place, we can let our minds go to you know, members that churn staff through, for whatever reason it may be. Senator Russell Trude had a very stable staff when he was, um, when he was serving in office. And I want to acknowledge Fraser Stevens, and who still you know, is a, is a linchpin, linchpin for that group, who brings the staff back together for Russell Trude on a regular basis, Marty Kennedy. Uh, Greg Birkbeck, both of the two latter names. Uh, Marty served with me when he finished with Russell in a media capacity, and Greg Birkbeck today still serves as my chief of staff from the day that I was elected, and he has asked me to pass on, for the sake of Hans Hansard, his deepest condolences to the family. Russell will be missed. Uh, it's a salient point and a reminder to all of us in this place when we stand to talk about condolences, that we often shower you know, accolade and an affirmation of people's contributions to either the parliament or, or to their communities. And I just suggest that times like this, that it would be so appropriate, so appropriate for us to be a little more generous in our community with the compliment that we pay to people that are alive so they could hear it themselves. And what that affirmation would do to lift them yeah, and maybe make a greater contribution to communities. It saddens me that you know, someone needs to leave this place, pass from this earth, before we shower them with, with accolade. Um, Trude is worth the accolade that I have bestowed upon him this afternoon. Um, he was a good man. He was a man that was well respected, both in the political landscape and in the, uh, in the areas of academia. I haven't gone too much into his academia space because I didn't know him then. I knew him when he was here. Uh, I, I did know Dale. I'd met her a, a number of times in passing, either in um, passings in the airports. And I remember the first time I met Dale, his, his wife, where um, I pulled up and I gave Trude a hug because I hadn't seen him for a while. And his wife said, as they were walking away, I could hear them she said, who was that? And Trude's response was, he's one of the good fellas. He's one of the good guys. So he will always have a soft spot in my heart. My heartfelt prayers and thoughts go to him and his family, uh, to his family, Dale, as I just spoke of, his two children, James and, and Phoebe, uh, his many friends and family, his brother, uh, Artie, who was at the funeral. Senator Russell Trude, Rest in peace knowing that you will live on. You have left a little bit of you with me. I think I'm a better person from having met your acquaintance. I am a better person 
for of knowing you, and I know there are many others in this place that share my thoughts. Thank you.